So this is like a, a trick where if you have a bunch of drum loops, you can sort of make something new out of it. Basically, if I hold shift or put an insert marker there and then hold shift and go down. So I've got a longer insert marker. I can now split on all three clips. And essentially you turn all of these off with the zero key and turn them on and make a new hybrid uh, loop. The, the problem that I had with that process is that it's just super arrangement view. It's very time consuming. It's like editing post-production, that kind of stuff. And then you end up with one version, but it's only one version. And so I wanted something that was way more flexible and performable and real time. So where this got to was if I put a gate on say this first track, uh, and I'll turn off the other two tracks for a sec. Um, everything's getting through the gate, but if I sidechain the gate from this track over here, which is just a simpler with a, a sample of white noise on it, then that will do nothing until I make a MIDI clip down here and tell it when and where I want notes. So. Okay, but we're also hearing the white noise. So if I just turn that channel off, now the white noise is just a trigger. And I can now edit and chop the first drum loop over there using MIDI uh, notes. All right, so uh, if we take that a step further, I'm gonna put this white noise, uh, group it to a drum rack. And so now we have this down here. I can call this one and copy it across Call that one two and copy this across and that is now three. And so now inside the clip we can see lanes one, two and three. And if I go to audio track one, I now need to make it more specific where it's going to route that sidechain from. So I go to um, uh, drum pad one and if I go on and turn this one on and turn that one on activate their gates, sidechain them from the second pad and the third pad, then I'm gonna be able to edit all of these three audio files in real time, just using MIDI. And by doing this, I can just look through and go, well, which kick drum do I want? This one, or this one, or this one? And I might settle with that one, and then I'll look for a snare and I'll go, well, snares are usually on the twos and the fours, so which one do I want? Maybe that one, or maybe this one, but I'll go for this. And then so forth. Hi-hats are usually on the offs, uh, you know, in the eighths, uh, but find other hi-hats. And so forth. So now editing uh, this kind of thing, it becomes really simple. Um, likewise, you can see I've got a one bar loop of samples over here. I could shorten the actual uh, loop of MIDI and go, and I could invert this or reverse it. Uh, legato, transpose down. Now this gets more interesting if you do it in session view. So if I go to here, um, on session view, I've got this sort of setup. Uh, in a group and there are seven uh, clips in the group and they've all got gates on them and there's a drum rack um, for the triggers here which are all white noise. So at the moment nothing's playing um, because the clip is empty uh, but if I just go through and look for different things. So this one actually has some melodic sounds in it as well. So if I duplicate this down and create a variation, I'll just swap those specific notes around and inverted them.
all sorts of stuff can happen there. You could put MIDI effects on and you can do it all from push. So let's get a metronome happening. That's kind of one application of this. And then after that, I sort of started thinking, what if you use this gate remixing technique just for effects? Instead of having multiple um, sounds and uh, unleashing those with the gates, here's a, a drum beat that is running through an audio effect rack. And there are, there's the dry channel there, but there's different chains of effects. And each of these chains have uh, gates on them and the gates are gonna be triggered over here, so. And if I change the drum beat. You get different results. Um, so, it goes way deeper than that. I'll stop there. Uh, those are the first two applications for how to use this um, process. But yeah. That was <laughs> <laughs>